Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Azure Purview channel for the Data Lineage series. My name is Chandru and I'm a product manager in Azure Purview. In this video, let's take a look at Azure Purview integration with Azure Data Factory for automated lineage extraction. Data Factory is one of the native sources of lineage in Azure Purview. To automate lineage extraction from Data Factory, all it needs is a one-click connect to Data Factory account from Purview. The current integration can extract lineage from copy, data flow activity, and execute SSIS package activity, and many more to be supported in the future. So let's get started. I can go to the management tab of my Purview account to start connecting Data Factory. The Data Factory is listed under the external connections. I can start by selecting the new button to see the list of subscriptions and the data factory under each subscription. I can search to filter the data factory name to find my data factory that I would like to connect to my Purview account. In this case, the name of my factory is starting with lineage demo. Selecting the data factory account and clicking OK adds the data factory to my Purview account. Users will be able to add a Data Factory account only if they have appropriate contributor permissions in the Data Factory as well as Data Curator permissions in Purview. Once connected, I can go into my Data Factory to simply create and run pipelines. This will automatically track Lineage in Purview. In this example, I have three pipelines in the Data Factory each doing a variety of different data copy and transformations. In my first example, I have a copy activity that copies data from an Amazon S3 account to a blob storage in Azure. The S3 account has a bunch of folders under a file path called HR. The files are copied to a storage account in ADLS Gen 2 under a different file path. Let me trigger this pipeline while we go ahead and take a look at the next pipeline. In the second example, I have a copy activity that copies data from a data lake to a target that merges the source into a CSV file called customer. I'm also triggering this pipeline while we look into the next pipeline. The first activity in this pipeline is a data flow activity that takes two input data sets, perform a join operation, and produce a target table in SQL Server. The sync is then given as an input to a second activity, which is a copy activity, to produce a final target CSV file in a storage account. I wanted to trigger this pipeline as well. At this point, the other two pipelines are already complete. Now let's take a look at how Lineage is automatically collected in my Purview account. I can start by browsing the catalog and see the data factory source in the browsing section. I can already see the data factory name that we connected earlier to my Purview account. I can see the name of the pipelines that we ran in Data Factory a minute ago. The first pipeline is a copy from S3 to Azure. By selecting the activity, I can see the data size, the last run time, and the status of the activity run. Under the Lineage tab, I can see the list of S3 buckets that are copied over to a data lake storage. We have copied more than a handful of Amazon S3 buckets into our Azure storage, but the lineage is currently rendering only the top six sources with a hint to expand more. I can click on these three dots to see the rest of the buckets that are part of this copy activity source. I can choose to pin certain buckets into the Lineage Canvas. 
I can also click the see details button on the copy activity to see the one-to-one -one mappings of the data copy from S3 to Azure storage. I can choose to pin the data sets from the see more display. If I choose to, I can also open this activity right into Azure Data Factory account that is deep linked from my Purview account. I can open this only if I have access to the Data Factory account. The next activity we ran in Data Factory earlier is called the Demo Pipeline Merger Customer. Going back to my browser experience, I see the pipeline. By selecting the activity, I can see the data size row count and status. Under the Lineage tab, I can see the list of files copied and merged into this one blob path called Customer. If you see here on the left side, we enabled a new option to see the list of columns from the input dataset and also the output datasets. You can see the input and output dataset column level lineage in a single pane without having to switch between input sources or the output sources. The next pipeline we ran includes data flow activity and a copy activity. The name of the pipeline is Demo Pipeline Company Data Aggregated. Going back to my browse experience, I can see the pipeline and the data flow activity. In the activity details, I can see the source table, the query translation, last run status and runtime. Under the lineage tab, I can see the source tables as well as the target created from the data flow activity. In addition to that, I can also see the copy activity that is triggered as part of the pipeline to create a final table called copy to company data.csv. Lastly, I also wanted to show you that we can collect lineage automatically from the execute SSIS package activity. In this case, I have already connected this data factory and ran this activity. In this activity, customer data is loaded from a text file to a SQL table. Similar to the copy and data flow activities, I can see the input data set and output data set right within the execute SSIS package activity. Also, I can see the column lineage. In summary, we saw how to connect Data Factory to Purview and also saw a demo of how Purview can collect automatic lineage from copy, data flow, and execute SSIS package activities. Thanks and hope you enjoyed the video.